Hey friends and fam, welcome back to another on me OG video. Um just wanna accidentally, not by accident, show you guys that I hit rank 15. Uh complete accident by the way. I mean it didn't mean to pull that up. Uh pay it no heed. <laughs> Nice. No, uh, even though I was able to hit rank 15, that uh, doesn't really count because it's still pretty early in the week and uh, most of the OP guys out there are still sleeping. Um, but this was using the new team. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, if you didn't watch my older video, it's this team right here. Nope, that's not a team. It's this team right here. Yes, now we're in the right spot. Preset uh, in the last spot. I have Amayona, so um, Check out my other video to see it in detail, but I was able to use this comfortably uh, Got me up to rank 15 today. It was a lot of fun. The duels are a little longer, but was definitely a blast um, Souls are on my page too if you're curious about it, but that's not what we're here to talk about today We are here to talk about the new SSR Shiki hype. Yes, we're all excited, and I'm probably the most excited out of everyone. I, I've lost sleep over dreaming of this sexy little devil. So who is he? When's he coming out? And uh, what are we gonna do with him? Lots of things. Lots of amazingly delicious things. So okay. this is the guy I'm talking about. Ichimonkurin. Ichi? Ichimonkurin? I don't think it's Ichi. Ichi? All right. Dragon, dragon guy. He is going to be awesome. Um, I'm extremely hyped about this guy. Uh, so let's take a look about. Let's take a look at what he does. He's basically going to be your kind of like top tier defensive shiki. He's gonna make your team basically unkillable. Um, reason is because everything he does is based off his HP. I'm sorry. I think my new contact lenses are messing with my vision. Um, so let's take a look real fast. His uh, regular attack, zero orb cost, 100% uh, attack damage, but it also absorbs 20% of the damage attack for two turns. <laughs> Already I'm loving it. I mean, honestly, this isn't important to do. It is nice that it's plus 25% damage at level five, but all things said, I don't think you need to max his skills, which is going to be even nicer because uh, not needing a skill sheet like I'm sure it's going to be great having them maxed. But then again, it's like I'll probably use this guy without maxing his skills at first. Um, so Wind Charm Guard is going to be his second move. It costs three orbs, which I think is a little weird because I prefer I preferably would have had a uh, would have been nice to have a passive or no orb costing skill instead uh, the fact that he has two three orb costing skills makes me wonder if i'm gonna have to not use auto because i generally let pvp run on auto because i am lazy um but basically you're gonna be shielding one member for two turns uh that shields is 16 percent of one eyed eight one eyed's hp and if the shield breaks, the AoE damage the AoE damage. Oh wow, that is cool actually. So basically, it's an offensive skill that can also be it's a defensive offensive skill, which is pretty cool. You're gonna be dealing eight percent of your HP. So I think that can be roughly around like seven to eight k. Uh, I can probably I can probably get to like forty five k HP on this guy. So I think it's doable. Um. Which is a considerable amount of damage. I wonder how that would fit into PvP. I don't know. I'm not too sure how much I really like this skill. It's cool though. Maybe if it's like a pinch situation where your character's someone, one of your other Shiki's about to die, and you want to keep him alive for another turn or so, just throw the shield on him, and might be able to like. Uh, keep people away from killing them but this is the one that i'm really excited about three orb count win god's blessing um so it's an aoa two turn shield that equals 12 percent of one eyed's hp um it also gives a 10 percent attack bonus for units under protection and 15 percent effect res which yes 
which makes me so happy. I love that we get effect res from this. Uh, leveling up is also going to be optional as it just gives you another 4%, so it's not that big of a deal. Still, this is going to be an insane amount of survivability that you're getting. Um, I mean, just hop over here. And I, I read this a little earlier when I was uh, going through this first comment. It was like, I have this guy in the Chinese version, makes you nearly impossible to kill. I'm so excited because I'm not running a, a Excel on my team. So. Um, that being said, let's hop back into the game. Hey, so let's take a look at what souls he's going to be using. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that I'm putting a Jesus set on him, and I don't care what anyone says. Otherwise, I don't see myself using anything other than Jizo on this guy. I mean, everything that he uses is based off HP, and Jizo is based off HP, and there's something about getting those huge, fatty, juicy, uh, Jizo kind of like shields in AoE situations in PvP and just having that stacked on top of his shields that he's going to be putting on up. I mean I'm excited. I am so excited. So yeah <laughs> um, So for his souls, I'm gonna be using Jizo uh, I'm gonna be using effect res for one of his slots though because I don't want him to get crowd controlled So I'm gonna be giving up 55% of his HP for effect res I will try both though. I will try once without effect res and see how it goes. Um, it's gonna be something simple though. We can put together like a makeshift uh, makeshift set together with you guys real fast. So, oops. Speed is always gonna be good for any PVP character. Speed is always going to be good. So this could be switched to effect res, but something like this would be insane. Uh, plus 206% HP would be very nice. The thing is that I could remove this and um, instead put, do I have effect re resistance somewhere? Oh, there we go. Now, I could choose an effect resistance with the percent with the two set being HP if I really wanted to go like full 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 HP, which I actually might do. But I'm wondering if crit would actually be good on him. One, because I'm not sure if his shields can crit. And if they can, that would be awesome. Because that means that his shields can crit, followed by the damage dealt by his shields can crit which would be really cool to see happen in game. Um, but it could easily be done something like this. So, and then we can go ahead and put like HP in here or even crit actually, but I wouldn't want to give up that much crit. Um, if we put in crit, that would put us at, where's my crit? 83% crit, he gets 10 crit as well. That'd be 93% crit, but you're only getting a 89% HP bonus, which I don't think is something I want. Um, I'm gonna try this out with you guys as well once we get this guy, and we will be getting him. I really hope me saying that doesn't result in me not getting him. I would cry on camera in front of you guys. Um, but he comes out in five days. I'll be doing 200 summons to try and get him. So pray, pray to the Jiki gods that I please get this guy because I'm very excited to use him. Um, that being said, just wanted to mention real quick, apparently I think all my old videos probably suck because a lot of the comments I'm getting are asking about stuff that I've tried to explain in some of my older guide videos. So for the sake of trying to approach things from a new perspective uh, sometime in the near future, I'll revisit some of my old videos, redo them, take them down, re-upload them in the hopes that they're a little more clear and a little less kind of like... Uh, I don't even know. Shitty? Is that the word? <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed. Hope I get to see you guys in game. It's always a pleasure. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.